Welcome to North Georgia College and State University's Information Security page. Today we're going to show you how to use a student tool called Identity Finder. Identity Finder is free for current students and can be picked up at the help desk. We've already installed Identity Finder and the help desk will install it free of charge for you. Once you've installed it, it'll prompt you for a password. Once you've created your password, every time you open it, it will prompt you for that same password. Enter your password. Log into Identity Finder. To start Identity Finder, what you'll need to do is go to the green start button. There's a drop down menu in the arrow below it. Go to Start Search Wizard. This will let you choose what information to choose for or search for. Identity Finder is a search engine that runs through your computer and looks for specific information. You can pick out items such as social security numbers, credit card numbers, passwords, and sensitive data such as that. What you'll want to do is select what information you're going to search for. We're going to search for this. Uh, social security numbers, credit card numbers, passwords, bank account numbers, and dates of birth. We don't recommend searching for email addresses, phone numbers, or personal addresses just because of the number of hits that will be generated. Every program that you ever load will have an email address, a phone number, and an address for the company. So every single program that you have ever loaded will be generated as a hit. In the Any Find Worldwide Searching area, select No. We're only going to search for information from North America. This will allow you to enter specific information to search for. Select No. This will give you the best idea of what information is on your system. Select Next. This will allow you to choose where you're going to search. We're going to search everywhere um, and search my computer. This is a confirmation page which will prompt you to check all of the items that you have selected and make sure you're searching only for what you want or you haven't left anything out. Once you're sure, simply click Finish and the scan will start. This is part one of a two-part series. Part two will deal with the data redaction and what to do with the information that you find. See you in part two. For more information, check back on our other videos on the Information Security website, on our Twitter page, ng underscore infosec at Twitter, or at our Facebook page, North Georgia College and State University Information Security Services. We continually update tips and tricks on how to have safe browsing habits. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you around.